The objective of the experiment is to investigate or to study the drying rate as a function of moisture content. Okay? To study the drying rate as a function of moisture, H, moisture content. This is one. Uh, the second is to investigate the effect of air flow rate. Because we have two experiments, one at lower air flow rate, second at higher air flow rate. So there are two objectives. One is to see or to investigate this uh, drain rate as a function of X. X. What is X? X is called free moisture content. The water that is not bound inside the pores of the salt. If you, if you recall the mass, uh, sorry, the separation, the mass transfer, the mass transfer, when we have wet material, okay, this water might be bound inside the pores. Surface water, yes. Yeah, surface water. Not inside. Not mm -hmm. inside the pores yeah. of the salt yes. material. Okay. It's need so, heat huh? to remove inside. Or, or more time. Time for that one, okay? Um, Tayyip, what you have to do for calculation? First, you have to plot the moisture content versus time. X versus T. You have to have this plot, okay? From, from this plot, you will get equilibrium moisture content. X from where? X from this equation. Xt minus X star. What is X star? Equilibrium moisture content. This water that cannot be removed during the experiment. It will be almost zero. We take it zero to talk. No, don't, don't take it zero. <laughs> Make some value, you know? Not zero. Uh, where is your data? For XT, Doctor. For XT. Yeah, you know. After you make a plot, you will see it might be it's around 0.5. One it's a point 0.1. One. It was a point 0.1. Point one, huh? Where, yeah, is, where is X, Doctor? The last one is point 0.1. The last one is point 0.1. So, you will see point one. this. The next okay. one. Point 0.1. When, uh, point one. as the time proceeds, That's you will right. see this part. Yes. Start, you know, uh, stagnant. Yes, so this will be X star. So X T, Doctor. What is X? Uh, sorry, this is uh, yeah, XT. What is XT? This is W Vessel. minus WS. Gotcha. This is WP. The weight that you take every ah, five okay, minutes. Okay, okay. okay. The weight of the water that you take every yes. minute Vessel. minus solid. weight of dry solid. Yes. So, for example, here you have 400 gram solid plus 77.3. Okay, minus 400. Actually, this is this one. This yeah. WT minus WS is this. Okay, so you over. So, so over dry solid. So WT is is the total weight. Water on that side. Yeah, yes. Okay. So basically, this minus this is what you okay. are taking. This, this one I should be. Okay. So um, yes. If you find the xt, xt minus x star, it will be x. Okay. What is x star? X star is basically the last, uh, the last, measure. yeah, the last measurement is about zero yeah. minus. Let's see, okay. The last, uh, this one. You take it zero point zero one. Let's say zero point zero one or something like that. If I divide by four hundred gram, that will be. Start. So then you plot this versus time. Okay. After that, we transfer this to uh, drying rate versus X. We have X. Okay. We have X. So you you have kind of table here. Okay. This is time. This is X. From here. Huh? X, uh, from this X you get X. X T. Huh? Okay. Not X T. X. X T minus X star. X T minus X star is equal to X. Okay. Yeah. So you have T, you have X. X. And then you can 
uh, you can have uh, R. What is R here? Do you remember what is R? Dx, or I will say delta x over delta t. Okay. This is rate. Yeah? This is this axis. So let's say you have x1, it twins to t1, t1, t2. So you have r here between this. Okay. So the location for this is must be bit, uh, in between x1 and x2. X2 minus X1 over T2 minus Yes, the value is this. X2 minus X1 over T2 minus T1. But the location, which one? Because we have to plot R versus X. Which X? X1 or X2? X average. X average. So you have to take this one at X average. Between X1 and X2. That you will find something might be like this, might be like this. In the previous experiment, it's like this. But I don't know this one. Maybe something. So now, you have to determine which one is. No time for taking the measurement? No, I'm not. Still? OK. There is an area where we have constant drying rate. Yeah? Constant drying rate. That means the rate is constant. The drying rate is constant. After that, you will start having uh, decreasing in dry rate uh, as the amount of so this moisture. Is the beginning. Yes. Yes, it will decrease. Okay. This is called constant. So this is the rate of uh, drying increase. And, and study. And then constant and then decrease. You will find something similar like this. Okay. So what's the purpose of this? We want to find RC. RC is constant drying rate. Normally, uh, the process of drying occurs in this area when we have constant drying rate. Okay, when we have constant drying rate. So we have to determine RC by graphic graphical value, which is this one. You see, you will you will see constant drying rate. To certain value, it starts decreasing. So this is XC. XC. Uh -huh. This is RC. So for the from graph. Line, Sorry. How can I get it? This cut line? It? Yes. You draw it. You, you no, draw no, no, no. The cut line. Cut, cut line. line. What do you do? This one. This one. I don't understand. This. How do I write this? I write this way. Yeah. Just write this way. Between R and X only, the top. Yeah, yeah. So you calculate or you find RC from graph. graph. The second, you can make prediction. You can predict RC also by this equation. Okay. okay. RC equal to H over lambda W times T minus T W. What is T? T is T to average at RC. What does it mean? Between x1, at the average between t2 and t1. Remember, you have t2 here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At some same value here, okay, you have t2. t2. So t2. you get you get this corresponds to certain t2 from let's say from this to this. You get this uh, area. Okay. From let's say. From this data to this data. Okay. T1 and so T2. T1. T1. No. From T1. Huh? From no. X1 no. to X1. No. 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 This one, no. maybe you will get confused with this. What does it mean by T2 average? Huh? T2 average. Why? Because you will have T2 1. T2 2. T2 3. Just like the X. Just like the X. And this constant drying rate might be from T to 3 to certain T2. Mm. So then you have to take this average goes for this T. And TW is wet bulb temperature at T2 average. So How to find this? So from here to here? Yes. 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 Y
Oh. We take the yeah. HT, just take follow, the follow this one. Okay. Because your data are showing different temperature. 41, 44.1, 44.3, take average, okay? This one, when temperature, TW is when above temperature at this temperature, T2 average. What is it to average? Dry bulb temperature, okay? This is dry bulb temperature. How to find this? Go to psychometric chart. Huh? How to do that? Uh, your book. Psychometric chart. Yeah, this one. Mm. You have dry bulb temperature. Okay. Mm -hmm. T2, T2 yeah. average you have. Let's say 44 here. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And you have what? Humidity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very low. 12. Let's say 12. Um, it was, it's about 12, yeah, somewhere here, okay. So let's say this is 44, and you have 12 here. So let's say it's uh, about here, okay? okay? And then, to find wet bulb temperature, you go in the same direction of this line, to up to 100%. Yeah. Then we go down. And then you go down, this is TW, uh -huh. wet bulb. This. Yeah, constant it's all. Huh? Constant. Okay. No, with each time, Dep depending on yeah. the dry bulb. And, and this. The value of the uh, wet bulb depends on dry bulb and humi and humidity. 25. Yeah, 25, minus around that. Okay? So we know this, we know this. Lambda must be, far, must be found table. from steam table. This is lesson bit of vaporization. CW and uh, Yeah, at at wet bulb temperature and pressure is what I'm talking about. Okay, you get this? And what about H? Given in this equation, 0 0.0204 times D. What is D? The velocity. Uh, this is not velocity. This is velocity. And uh, what do you call this? It's a uh, flow not positive flow rate, it is, they call this humid volume, okay, they call this humid volume, Alga, this one, they call humid volume, the unit is cubic meter per kilogram, let's say, the opposite of density, okay, and you'll find this, Huh? You so you have to find this by this equation. Mm -hmm. huh? Two point this multiplied by H times temperature. It is given in this book, the equation. <laughs> so we are here now, yeah? H calculated, a small H calculated by this. What is G? G is humid volume multiplied by density. Density is calculated by 1 plus H over pH. What is this H? Again, it comes from here. This is H. Ah, from here. F is the right? same. Here. Okay. Here T2. T2. Yes. Average. And 12% and we go here. So you you find H. Okay. At T2. Not T not uh, wet bulb. T2. T2 average. Yeah, T2 average. T2 average. You get H. Yeah. Okay. This is H. Average. Okay. You find density. You have this, you have this. Already. Subject the value, calculate G, goes here, comes here, and you find uh, value for absolute.